The Little Rock Fire Department is investigating after a Mabelville bar went up in flames early yesterday morning. The front was spray painted and they left a charred trail of grass in the back. Our Claire Kreitz is live from the scene tonight of this fire. That fire that officials are now calling suspicious, Claire. Yeah, Ashley, the owner of this bar tested positive for COVID-19 Saturday afternoon. She says she immediately shut the doors and posted on Facebook to warn her customers. Well, Sunday morning, her business was on fire with this message, COVID house, spray painted front and center. And it was my livelihood for my family, and now I don't have it. Burnt walls and boarded windows are all that's left of Missy's 19th hole bar and grill. To make it this far and then someone burn it down, it makes you wonder in life, what are we supposed to do? Missy Nickel is the owner and says it happened less than 24 hours after she tested positive for COVID-19. I called my bar and told them to shut it down. After closing her doors indefinitely, Nickel posted this message on Facebook to warn her customers. And, and I thought I was doing everything right. But Sunday morning, she woke up to pictures of her business in ruins. It crushes you. And COVID house spray painted in big red letters marking the entrance. I don't know. It's just horrible. I think it's sorry for someone to um, come in and and think they're going to take control of something that they have no part in. Because Nicole is quarantined, she can't even go see the damage for herself. That's even worse. But, and I don't I, I say that's worse, but it, I don't know if I need to see it. But she says she's not going to let this break her. In fact, she's already looking at how to rebuild. And I'm not going to let them take me out like that. Now, along with the word spray painted to the front of the business, fire officials pointed out this trail of charred grass that goes from the sidewalk to the back of the building. That is the most damaged part of the business. Now, fire, the fire marshal is still investigating the cause of this fire. We will keep you updated when we learn that cause. Reporting live in Mabelville, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. New tonight.